<laughs> What's up everyone? Finally doing another video about the store. Trying to catch up on uh, making these videos again. We got a new addition to the shop here. If you've been in in person, you've probably met him. This is Alan. How's it going? He's pretty cool. Got a Jet Set Radio shirt on, so you know he's good people. Uh, so a few little updates I wanted to go over real quick here. One of them being the Jaguar kiosk. Because last time I did a video, I believe this guy was going to be sent out for repair. And as you see, it is now working again, which is freaking awesome. Uh, all right. So we're just going to do a quick one because we're trying to um, get the shop running in the meantime. Uh, <laughs> let me just show you kind of the main thing we're going to talk about is this insane Sega Saturn collection that got traded in. Uh, a few of these I imported, but the vast majority of this was legit just a trade-in. Just amazing. Look at all those awesome games. If you need like, I don't know, 60 to 75% of like the top tier Sega Saturn games in your collection all at once, we got you covered. And then I also wanted to show you all over here, we have Panzer Dragoon Saga. Holy crap. So I don't know when we're going to get another one of those in. Uh, we're going to be restocking this guy here with a whole bunch of those games over there as well. So, yeah. Let's uh, get into showing you these games. Okay, I'm going to start going through this pile of Japanese Saturn games. Like, 85% of these actually got traded into the store. Let me know if the light's like reflecting weird or anything. So we're going to start out here. This is kind of a miscellaneous pile, kind of focused on like 2D and side-scrollers a little bit. We got Mega Man 8, Rockman 8. We got Sonic Jam, really cool collection of Sonic games. Uh, we got Assault Suit, uh, Lanos 2, also called Target Earth. Rayman, first Rayman game, classic. Rockman X4. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Saturn version has some extra characters that the PlayStation version didn't have. Uh, we got uh, Guardian Heroes, one of the best beat em ups on the Saturn multiplayer game there. We got Dungeons and Dragons collection. This has two uh, beat em up Dungeons and Dragons games multiplayer. Really, really cool. Supports the 4 meg expanded RAM. A stall, one of the prettiest 2D side scrollers on the console. Silhouette Mirage, another really pretty 2D side scroller. Um, I think this one's made by Atlas. Um, no, Treasure. Sorry, Treasure. This is made by Treasure. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Crow Battle Action, which is a really cool kind of chibi style uh, 2D beat em up game. Really cool, kind of a pricier one there. We got Rockman X3, which we never got on the Saturn in the United States. Magical Hoppers, which was called Pandemonium over here, kind of a uh, 2.5D, I guess, platformer. Princess Crown, which is a really cool one, kind of the precursor to the Odin Sphere and Dragon Crown games uh, made by the same people. We got a Hot Blooded Family, which is another really cool 2D side scrolling beat em up game. And we've got a Capcom Generations Collection 2, which is a really cool collection of a bunch of the Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts games. Really, really great. Okay, uh, and then let's move into one of the genres that the Saturn is most well known for. This whole stack here is just shoot 'em ups. Starting off really strong here with Twinkle Star Sprites. Arguably the best version of this game has a bunch of extra content in it that the original Neo Geo version didn't have. Um, very, very cool. We've got uh, Fantasy Zone, classic shoot 'em up right there. Battle Garega, another one of the best shoot 'em ups on the Saturn, followed up by Thunder Force 5, arguably one of the better Thunder Force games, although that whole series is extremely good. Um, this one may be pushing it a little bit to call it a shoot 'em up, but Virtua Cop, really cool light gun game. It's a shooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant Silver Gun, one of the best known uh, Saturn shoot 'em ups, one of the most notoriously pricey. Same people who did the Ikaruga game. Uh, kind of has some of the similar mechanics to Ikaruga. A lot of people who have played both of them, though, I think maybe even prefer to this one. 
Uh, we've got um, Night Striker S, which is a, kind of like a Space Harrier style game with a little car. We've got In the Hunt, which is like a submarine shoot 'em up made by the people who did the Metal Slug game. Another light gun game here, House of the Dead, really fun game. Game Tengoku, the game Paradise, which is a really cool shoot 'em up that uh, brings in a lot of other video games that it references throughout, like Final Fantasies and Dragon Warriors and all kinds of stuff. Uh, kind of sticking to that kind of a theme, we've got uh, Parodius Da, which is a parody of the Gradius games. Space Invaders, one of kind of the forefathers of the shoot 'em up genre right there. Batsugan, speaking of forefathers, this one was kind of the one that started the whole uh, bullet hell subgenre of shoot 'em ups. Got Soku Garentai, another one of the better um, shoot 'em ups on the Saturn. We got Don Patchy, which uh, kind of even further cemented the whole bullet hell type game. Metal Slug, which is kind of a run and gun. Maybe this one should have gone in the uh, side scroller. Uh, section, but whatever. Gunbird, another one of the better known shoot 'em ups on the Saturn. Galaxy Force 2, which is another one that's kind of like uh, Space Harrier. Really cool. We got Planet Joker, which is more of a 3D shoot 'em up, which is really, really cool. Oh, here we go. We got uh, Desimon 2, which is a cool shoot 'em up that I think also has uh, gives you the ability to kind of create your own levels and uh, ships and things like that. Pretty cool. Soul Divide, which is another great shoot 'em up, made by Atlas for the Saturn. Sonic Wing Special, classic right there. We got Macross, I believe this is Do You Remember Love, which is really cool as well. So that's just some of the great shoot 'em ups on the Saturn. There are definitely a ton more. So we've gone through those. Let's go into here. Uh, this is kind of just a miscellaneous stack here, starting out with Sonic R, which is one of the greatest soundtracks in all of video game history, in my opinion. And uh, kind of this couple of secrets to getting a hang of this game, because when you first start it, you might be put off a little bit, but you got to use the shoulder buttons to turn and treat the characters like not like a human that you're controlling them running around, but like a car with a jump button and use the shoulder buttons to turn. And uh, yeah, a lot of times I just put this one on. It's got just great Sunday Vibe soundtrack on there. Speaking of Sunday Vibe soundtracks, we got OutRun. One of the best versions of OutRun. You put it on smooth run mode, it runs at 60 frames a second. Really, really cool. Uh, we got Virtual Racing. So we also got one with the Obi. Very cool. So just a bunch of racing games here starting out. As well as Daytona USA Circuit Edition. Really cool. Then we got a couple of, let's see, we got Grandia which uh, a lot of people like the water effects in this version better than the PlayStation version. Huh. Decathlete, which is like a track and field type game. Really cool one. We got Noon, which is a really cool puzzle game. Knights, which is kind of a, the Sonic the Hedgehog of the Sega Saturn, pretty much. Really, really great game. Street Racer, which is kind of a, artistically kind of looks like a Warner Brothers type of a game. A uh, really cool kart racing game. Looks really, really good. Uh, we got um, Jung Rhythm, which is basically Parappa the Rapper for the Sega Saturn. But a totally different series, but very similar game to that. Biohazard, which is Resident Evil, probably most of you know. Got a couple more RPGs here. Dragon Force 2, which we never got over here, unfortunately. We only got the first game. Got Magical Knight Ray Earth in this cool deluxe edition that has these memory card stickers on the back which is really, really cool. Some puzzle games here. We got uh, Tokimeki Memorial, puzzle game, really cool. We've got Lemmings 3D, which is a classic game series there. Uh, here's Knights Christmas Nights, which was like kind of DLC before DLC. Really cool. If you play this on Christmas Day or April Fool's Day, you get some extra content on it. Uh, another RPG with the uh, Lunar Silver Star, Police Knots, very cool one there. Hideo Kojima before Metal Gear. And there's Dragon Force 1. We've got Puzzle Fighter 2. Very, very cool. Gun Griffin 2, which is a really cool mech game that you can use kind of some of the special controllers that the Saturn had. 
um, to just kind of further immerse yourself in. We got two Load Runner games. We got Load Runner Legend Returns and Load Runner Extra. Load Runner Extra is just kind of some extra levels. Um, the Load Runner games are really cool. I used to play the heck out of these as a kid on our Windows 95 PC. My brother and I would make our own levels and save them to uh, little floppy drives and take them back and forth to each other's rooms and just see if we could beat each other's levels. Really awesome games. Um, we got a Gundam game here. Not too familiar exactly with this one. Alan might be able to tell you a little bit more. Steam Gear Smash, which is kind of a cool 3D top-down, um, kind of like a platformer game. Pretty cool. You got a uh, Bomberman Fight, which is kind of an isometric Bomberman game. Really, really cool. And then we got a couple here of Magical Drop games. Magical Drop 2 and 3, which are some pretty cool puzzle games. Uh, I know Alan grabbed one of these and said that one of them does not actually have multiplayer on it, but the other one does. And then we'll move into the last section here, which is another Ooh. of the things that the Saturn is most well known for, which is its awesome collection of fighting games. So we're going to move into that right now with uh, As Asuka 120% Burn. This is like a 2D fighting game set in like a school and she's like a chemistry student and she burns people with chemicals like you should. We've, <laughs> we've got Waku Waku 7, which is a really cool um, 2D fighting game that was on the Neo Geo. Great game, has the cardboard box with the RAM cartridge and everything. World Heroes Perfect, another 2D fighting game. We got Virtual Fighter Kids, which is a 3D fighting game. You know, kind of like the uh, Pocket Fighter game that Street Fighter did. Dead or Alive. Groove on Fight, which is one of the best 2D fighting games on the Saturn. And I believe an exclusive to the console still. We've got Golden Axe Duel, which people I think were a little unfairly harsh on back in the day because it wasn't a 2D beat-em-up game like people were expecting from Golden Axe, but from what I understand, it's actually a pretty good game if you, uh, you know, approach it for what the game actually is rather than expecting it to be a 2D fighting game. Astra Superstar, one of the heavies for the console here. This is actually basically kind of a sequel to Waku Waku 7. Really cool game with lots of, like, aerial combat that goes on in it. Extremely cool. Kind of pushes the hardware to the limits, it seems. Uh, we've got uh, Vampire Savior. One of the best games, fight, as far as 2D fighting games on the console, in my opinion, in the uh, Night Stalker series. We've got uh, Toshinden Ballerina Toshinden Ura, which is really cool. This has a really cool attract mode. Uh, we've got Samurai Showdown 3 in the cool cardboard box here with the RAM cartridge. Last Bronx, which is a 3D fighting game that I believe is also exclusive to the Saturn. Pretty cool one there. We got... Um, Another of the Battle Arena, or I'm sorry, uh, Samurai Showdown games. I forget which number this is um, in the series, but this is um, Amakusa's Revenge. And then speaking of Gem Fighter or Pocket Fighter, we've got that one as well. Vampire Hunter, which is a, a prequel, one of the earlier games to the uh, Vampire Savior game we showed a bit ago. Street Fighter Zero Two can't ever go wrong with the Saturn version of Street Fighter Zero, or Street Fighter Alpha, as they called it over here. And, um, Battle Arena, or I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Samurai Showdown 3, without the cardboard box. Another pocket fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter Zero Part 1. Real Bout Special. One of the prequel precursors to the King of Fighters series. And then we have X-Men Children of the Atom, which is kind of the granddaddy that started it all with the whole Marvel versus Capcom and X-Men versus Street Fighter, um, Capcom 2D fighting game franchises. So there we go. That's all those. Whole bunch of games all going out today and tomorrow. Uh, pretty crazy. Like I said, most of these came in actually as trades. Pretty awesome. <laughs>